Okay, we're going to look at a couple of things. We're going to look at the delete tool, which is a really handy tool to use. Uh, and we're also going to have a look at the boundary fill tool. So if we look at the delete tool to begin with, I'll just start off by just drawing some random shapes, some circles, let's draw some rectangles. Okay, now if I just go to my normal delete tool here, as you would expect, that just deletes the whole object. Okay, nothing clever about that. If I click and hold uh, and go to the next one, which is delete part of an object between the nearest two intersections, which sounds very long winded, but basically, if you look, you can see what it does here. So I'm just going to delete that. So it just deletes the lines between, between the two points. Click and hold onto the delete objects by box. This time I can drag my box across the whole lot. Press OK and it will delete everything that's inside the box. So a really handy tool. So if I do my, uh, my circle, let's have a go at doing the profile of Mickey Mouse. Let's do his ear there. I want his other ear to be the same size, so I'm going to select it and copy it. Drag it across. I go to my delete part of an object, so I can delete those lines. And there we've got Mickey. Okay, let's just get rid of him. Bye bye, Mickey. Okay, we're going to have a look at contouring now. No, we're not. We're going to have a look at boundary fill. So um, if I just drag the box across, if we have a simple shape and go to boundary fill, um, let's choose uh, green. If I click on the inside of the line, it asks me any islands. The answer is no. I'll come on to islands in a minute, but there's no islands in there. Same on that one, any islands, no. Okay, so that's how you fill an object. However, to fill an object, you need to have an enclosed boundary. So if I just get rid of these again, and I'm going to create a shape without an enclosed boundary. So I'm using the line tool this time. So I'm going to go across there, down. Now I've made that very obvious. There's a, a huge gap there. If I try and fill that now with the green again, it says not a closed boundary. Okay. Now, sometimes on drawings you think the boundary is enclosed, but it's not because the gap is so small. So you have to zoom in and try and find where that gap is. Which is why when you're tracing something and drawing bits and pieces, it's always good to overlap all the lines and then trim them off with the delete tool. So to, to plug up that gap, I'm going to the line tool, I'm going to attach, and I'm just going to attach the line like that. And if I go to boundary fill, the lines, no. Okay. You can also use the text tool uh, and use that as a an island. So if I just create a long rectangle, I go to text. Okay, write a word, aerial bold, let's go for aerial bold, let's remove the fill, we don't want the fill. Okay. Let's just make that a bit bigger, so I'm going to drag it to the corner. Okay, uh, let's fill that rectangle but try and uh, leave the words. So let's choose a nice colour. Let's go for a nice, let's go for turquoise colour, that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to click on, just on the inside of the rectangle, any islands, yes, the M, yes, the R, yes, the W, yes, A, yes. I've got to come back and do the centre of the A and the E in a minute, so I'm just doing those. So I'm going to do that. 
Okay, and then I'm just going to go back and I'm going to fill these. So I'll just go anywhere to me. Okay, so that's how you use the delete tool and the boundary fill tool.